Pew Research found millennials to be the most educated generation. 21% of millennial men have attained at the very least a bachelor degree, and for women it is even higher, it is 27%. How do you define educated? Do you want to know a scary statistic? When tested, only 24% of millennials displayed signs of having basic financial literacy. What about an even more frightening statistic? 78% of Americans and 48% of Canadians are living paycheck to paycheck, which is defined as being in a situation where if a single paycheck is lost, there will not be enough money to cover expenses for two weeks. Despite a mandatory 12 years of schooling, graduates lack primary financial literacy. If you browse through the complete list of all courses offered across Ontario secondary schools, you will find every course imaginable. HNB4M, or the world of fashion, PTJ3O, or transportation technology vehicle ownership, HSG3M, or gender studies. Throughout my research, I found one course pertaining to financial education. CIC4E, or making personal economic choices, is a grade 12 elective only offered at individual secondary schools. In fact, I didn't even know it existed until a few hours into my research. While I fully support self-education and believe it is a necessary discipline required to become a top achiever, to suggest it is the job of students to teach themselves financial literacy is no more rational than suggesting students teach themselves English or math. It is the job of schools to prepare students for life as an adult, and currently, they are failing. If schools value history and language arts over stocks and real estate, they are only breeding adults who will remain in the rat race until they die. Do you know what? I propose a mandatory grade 9 course covering stocks, bonds, real estate, assets versus liabilities, lending, and responsible spending. A course that will prepare students to succeed in today's economy. I propose that all students should have to read Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki as well as Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I propose that schools introduce a grade 11 financial literacy test that all students must pass in order to graduate. If schools can provide the necessary education required to get ahead in today's world, the financial future of students will look a whole lot brighter. Thank you. I'm Jaden Sutton from Maryville High School, Ottawa, Canada.